Hey, Nolan Stoltz here, and I want to share a little bit about the ghost town of Shop Creek, Illinois. Uh, this is for inspirations for the 66 Ghost Towns movement. Shop Creek was located just north of Litchfield, and today it's considered a part of Litchfield. But for a time, it was its own community, and as you can see on this 1958 map, it's shown right on Route 66. On this 1945 map, however, Shop Creek is depicted as being just off of 66 along the railroad. That's also the case in this 1939 map where you see Shop Creek just off to the west, but that's also the same for Route 66 towns such as Wagner and Farmersville. This map is from about 1930, which is the year that Route 66 first came through. The original alignment of 66 was a little bit to the west. Here you see Shop Creek depicted as well as the ghost town of Zanesville, and this is all within the township of Zanesville. I should also mention that to the northwest of Shop Creek was the ghost town of Green Ridge. I also have a video about that ghost town, so check my Patreon for that, and you can see Green Ridge depicted here on this 1939 map. Also on my Patreon is a video about the ghost town of Zanesville, so check that out as well. But the focus of this video will be Shop Creek, so let's take a look at this map also from about 1930, which shows property owners and things, but you'll notice that Shop Creek is depicted as being centered around the railroad, and you also see Route 66 just off to the east. This map is from seven years earlier, and you can see Shop Creek depicted at the railroad, and the road that would become Route 66 off to the east, and several buildings strewn about. Here we see Shop Creek on this 1912 map, again by the railroad, with some buildings in the area, a road that parallels the railroad and then crosses, heads towards what would become 66, and the main east-west street, which would become Illinois 108. With the railroad predating Route 66 in this area by at least 18 years, I decided to look at uh, railroad timetables, and sure enough, it shows up in this 1894 railroad timetable. So then I did some digging of early maps from this area, and I found this one from 1872, which shows the ghost town of Shop Creek and the ghost town of Zanesville. It turns out Shop Creek is quite old. I found it in this 1869 list of post offices. I found Shop Creek on this postal map from 1879, and in my research of Zanesville, found that the mail was delivered once a week via stagecoach. Look, it's not even on a railroad. It's even shown on this 1850 map. Now, taking us back closer to the era of Route 66, let's look again at this 1923 map. You'll see the buildings there. I've annotated this satellite photo of the approximate locations of those buildings. And then three years into Route 66's existence and one year before Route 66 came through this area, we see Shot Creek listed still as a stop along the railroad. No surprise then in this map from probably about a year later that Chop Creek is depicted along the railroad, just west of 66. And this is a recent satellite photo which I annotated in red showing the roads depicted on that circa 1930 map. And Chop Creek remained as a railroad stop as shown in this 1937 timetable. And then in this 1939 map from Rand McNally, you see Chop Creek depicted just to the west of 66 as is the case in this 1945 map. And then one year later, we have a road guide to Route 66 published by Jack Rittenhouse. And we see a listing for a gas station at a junction with Illinois 108. That would have been Shop Creek. He doesn't call it Shop Creek by name, but that would be this location. Perhaps it was located on the northwest corner of 66 and 108 because we can see in this photograph taken 10 years later that there is a building there. And one year later, 1947, we see Shop Creek listed in the index for this railroad schedule. Zooming out and seeing more of Shop Creek, we see there really isn't much in this area. And a couple years later, Shop Creek is depicted as being on 66. Interesting. Let's look now at the former main intersection of Shop Creek. That would have been Illinois 108 and the railroad. And just to the southeast of that is this building along a road that leads to Route 66. And continuing southeast from there, we see the south side of Shop Creek, 
the four lane Route 66 coming down right down the middle there. And then across is Illinois 108 in what was probably a gas station on that northwest corner. And let's compare to how that looks today. As you can see, there's quite a few businesses here. And, you know, in that sense, maybe it's not really a ghost town, but I consider it a ghost town because it's no longer referred to as Shop Creek. It's just thought of as an exit off the interstate north of Litchfield. The USGS still lists Shop Creek as a place name, and they have it here, listed at Nana's Hidden Attic. Now we're looking north from the same location. This is where the center of town moved from the railroad, okay, so this is where 66 and 108 crossed the center of town in the mid 20th century. But, as we've discovered, the center of town in the 1930s and before 66 came through would have been here, 108 and the railroad. This is looking east at the former center of town with Route 66, the later center of town in the distance, and the railroad would have crossed here on a bridge, which is now gone. If you remember the map I showed you from 1923, on the southwest corner there was a building depicted there. That would be right in these trees right here. So I went up there to investigate, and I saw some ruins, but I couldn't really tell what they were, but certainly could have been a building. Further east, about halfway to where Route 66 came in, was another building depicted on the south side of the road. That shows in this 1956 aerial but nowadays there's nothing there. However, across the street is a shell station. And like I said earlier, there are several business in the area, so it's not like it's completely deserted or anything, but I still consider a ghost town because it's no longer considered Shop Creek. I would like to spend some more time in the area, perhaps do some tent camping at the Camper Companion RV Park on that southeast part of Shop Creek, and really just kind of get to know the space and get some inspiration for the 66 Ghost Towns movement. So if you find this interesting, I've got several other videos on ghost towns on Route 66, some in Illinois, some in Oklahoma and Texas and all sorts of places. So um, hope check it out on my Patreon page.